Hi, it's nice to see you again. This is Miss Yoon. Welcome to our new lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read, speak, and write about the environmental charities. Our lesson will be on page 53 of the student book and page 37 of the workbook. Now, are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, everyone. Now, before getting started, let's play a small game to review the vocabulary that we learned. In this game, you have to look at the picture and choose the correct word. We have a picture here, and we have two words, donate money and recycle. So can you guess it is donate money or recycle? Yes, it is donate money because you can see here there is a chart with coins and cash in it so it's donate money now let's move on the next picture wow we have the picture here and everybody are doing something yes are they picking up the trash or they are cleaning up street they are cleaning street very good now let's move on to the next picture we have four vases they are very cute so is this reuse potters or plain trees yes it is reuse potters do you often reuse potters? You should reuse potters. Now let's move on. Wow! Mình có thể thấy được một cái hộp đựng những cái uh, vật dụng đã được sử dụng rồi đúng không? So is this recycle or is this plant trees? Yes, of course. It can't be plant trees. It must be recycled. Và các bạn sẽ thấy một dấu hiệu như thế này ha. Thì dấu hiệu như thế này mình có thể hiểu được rằng đó là dấu hiệu của việc recycle hay là có việc sử dụng lại hoặc là việc tái chế lại. À các bạn thường thấy cái dấu hiệu này ở trên đâu nè? À trên những cái rubbish bin ha, trên những cái thùng rác ha các bạn ha. Rồi, let's move on. In this picture, whether it's reuse or plant trees. Is these plain trees? Because we can see the little girl is planting trees. Very good. So everybody, let's move on the reading activity. Reading activity. Can you guess what we are going to do in this reading activity? Yes, we are going to read the article here and then we have to circle the best headline and we have to read the article again to fill in their planks. Now everybody can you look up here how many headlines are there? There are two headlines and what is the first headline? We have the headline one an environmental charity in Vietnam and number two, the story of the thin green program. Now everybody, can you look at the article here quickly and tell me who the writer is? That is my Huang. Now everybody, can you stop video here about three minutes and read the article out loud? After that, you have to choose the best headline for it. Now let's go. Finished. How many of you here choose headline one, an environmental charity in Vietnam? Raise your hand. Wow. How many of you here choose their headline number two, the story of Pink Green Program? Raise your hand. Well, I could see here there are a lot of people choosing headline number one because headline number one is 
the correct answer. Can you tell me what is that environmental charity in Vietnam? Yes, it is Act Green Vietnam. Now let's move on to the exercise B. In this exercise, you have to read the article and fill in the blanks. Now let's do it together with Miss Yu. Number one, Act Green Vietnam is a Vietnamese charity. Because as we can see here, Act Green Vietnam is a charity in Vietnam. Number two, the first community they have to clean was in 2015. Vậy là vào năm 2015, cộng đồng đầu tiên tổ chức này giúp đỡ đó chính là Full Work Island. À ha, bởi vì mình sẽ có câu They started to help to clean the beaches on Full Work Island, right? In 2015. Now question number three. They have cleanups in big cities every year on and word cleanup days. Yes. Ah, what day is it, everybody? It's on Earth Day. Very good. It's on Earth Day. The final question. You can offer to help or money. You can see here to help our green Vietnam. You can join one of their cleanups, donate money, or offer to help at their office in Ho Chi Minh City. So what is the word here? À, gì từ ở đây sẽ là từ donate. Very good. Now everybody, do you remember three questions to ask about the charity? Now, Miss Yung going to ask and you're gonna answer. Are you ready? What does Act Green Vietnam do? Where do they work? And how can I help? Very good. Let's move on to the next activity. Now, let's move on to the speaking activity. Help us save the word. Now, imagine I and you wanted to help a charity and I will be the student A and you will be the student B. Now we have to practice asking and answer the questions about a charity and then we will swap the role. Now there are two charity. They are Jazz Hero World and the second one is Earth Watch. Do you remember the question to ask about charities that we learned from class lesson? Các bạn có nhớ về ba câu hỏi mà mình sẽ dùng để hỏi những bất kỳ một tổ chức từ thiện nào không? À mình sẽ có câu đầu tiên là What does và tên của tổ chức từ thiện đó do? Number two, where do they work? Yeah, và number three đó chính là how can I help? Và mình hôm nay mình cũng sẽ sử dụng ba câu hỏi này để thực hiện những bài hỏi thoại bên dưới. Okay, so everybody can you look at this table here? Uh, what is the charity's name? It's trash hero word. How many kinds of information are there? There are three, right? What they do, where they work, and how to help. And we have the information here. Where they do, plant cleanups and help recycle trash. Where they work, Southeast Asia, Australia, and Europe. And how to help, donate money, and start a Clean up. Now, we are going to practice the conversation out based on the information given. Vậy bây giờ các bạn và Miss Dung sẽ thực hiện bài hỏi thoại dựa trên những thông tin được đưa ra. Và bạn sẽ là người hỏi và Miss Dung sẽ là người trả lời. And do you remember a conversation skills that we learned last term? Asking for preparation. So how to ask for preparation? Yes, we can ask. Sorry, could you say that again? Or sorry, could you repeat that? Now you will ask and I will answer. 
Pip clean, clean ups and have recycled trash. Sorry, couldn't you say that again? Well, people work in Southeast Asia, Australia, and Europe. Well, yes, you you can donate money and start clean up. Very good. Now, everybody, you should turn to page one hundred and twenty-three. To see the information about the Earth Watch charity. Now let's go. Can you look at the table here? We have the charity name Earth Watch. Chúng ta sẽ thực hiện bài hội thoại dựa trên thông tin được đưa ra về Earth Watch charity và Lần nhưng lần này, Miss Dung sẽ là người hỏi và các bạn sẽ là người trả lời. Nào chúng ta hãy nhìn vào bảng nhé. Chúng ta sẽ có ba thông tin. What they do? Yes, you can see here. They work with a science text to help the earth, help companies become green. Where they work? Europe, Australia, India, the USA and Canada. And how to help? You will donate money. Now I will ask the question and you will answer. Are you ready? Let's go. What does Earth Watch do? Where do they work? And how can I help? Now, very good. After talking about two charities, the first one is Just Hero World, and the second one is Earth Watch. So, can you tell me which charity do you want to help? Miss Yoon want to have the Earth Watch, and I think I will donate money. How about you? That's a great idea. Now let's move on the writing activity. In this activity, you have to use the notes to write a paragraph about the word "why fun for nature." WWF, and you have to write 50 to 60 words. Rồi đối với hoạt động này, chúng ta sẽ sử dụng những thông tin được cung cấp ở phía bên tay phải về tổ chức World Wide Fund for Nature (WWF) để viết một paragraph giới thiệu về tổ chức này nha. Và trong phần What They Do, chúng ta có Protect Wildlife and the Environment, Make Sure Everyone Has Enough Food, and Reduce Food Waste. À, mình có từ Food Waste có nghĩa là lãng phí đồ ăn reduce food waste có nghĩa là làm giảm lãng phí thức ăn where they work they work in 100 countries and when they started in 1961 in Switzerland and finally how to help like you can say like take part in events and donate money we have the first sentence here the World Wide Fund for Nature is a very large charity. Now, they work to. Hãy có từ sau work to mình sẽ nói về mục đích của tổ chức này. For example, they work to protect wildlife and the environment. But can you stop video here about four minutes and write the information about their World Wide Fund? So after four minutes, we will check the answer together. Finish. Here is the extracted answer. The World Wide Fund for Nature, or WWF, is a very large charity. They work to protect wildlife and the environment. They also find ways to make sure everyone has enough food and reduce food waste. They started in 1961 in Switzerland, and now they work in more than 100 countries. To help WWF, you can donate money, and they are the largest wildlife charity in the world. Very good. 
sau khi mình đã check đáp án xong các bạn nên kiểm tra phần chính tả xem mình có viết sai từ này không hay là mình có viết thiếu dấu câu ở chỗ nào không mình sẽ nhanh chóng sửa lại nhé Now let's move on to the next activity Workbook 10. So everybody, in this lesson, we have to do two exercises. The first one is the reading exercise and the second one is the writing exercise. Everybody, so can you look at the article here? So we are going to read the article and answer the question. So can you tell me what is the title of this article? It is Trees for the Futures. And who is the writer? His name is Min Jung. Okay. Now, everybody, let's read the question first. We have five questions. The first one, what can we build with trees? Number two, how do trees help our environment? Number three, what is in a forest garden? Number four, how can you help trees for future? Number five, what can one dollar help to buy? Now everybody, let's read out loud the article with Miss Yu. Why should we plant trees? Because they change lives. Trees give fruit to people and animals. We need trees to build houses and schools. We burn wood from trees to keep warm in the winter. Trees help to keep our environment clean and green. Trees for the future work with farmers and community groups to plant trees. We also help people grow special forest gardens with fruits and vegetables. We help people all around the world have better lives by planting trees. You can help too! by donating money on the Trees for the Future website. Every dollar you can donate to buy a new tree. Now everybody, you can stop video here about two minutes to answer from question number one to question number five. Now let's check the answer together. So number one, what can we build with trees? They are, yes, they are houses and schools, right? Because we see here, we need trees to build houses and schools. Number two, how do trees help our environment? Can you tell me? Yes, trees help to keep our environment clean and green. Very good. Question number three. What is in a forest garden? They are fruits and vegetables, right? Because you can see here, we also help people to grow special forest gardens with fruits and vegetables. Number four. How can you help trees for the future? How can we help? Yes, we can donate money on the Trees for the Future website. And finally, what can one dollar help you buy? Yes, one dollar can buy a new tree. Now let's check the answer one more time. Now let's move on to the writing exercise. In this exercise, you also have to write a paragraph about the International Fund for Animal Welfare or IFA using the information below here. And you have to write from 50 to 60 words. As you can see here, we have four kinds of information. The first one, what they do. They work to save animals, T 
teach communities how to look after and protect wildlife on the route of work. And where they work? They work in more than 40 countries. And when they started? Um, they started in 1969 in Canada. And how to help? It's very easy. You just donate money. Now, everybody, you can stop video here about four minutes to write the article about the International Fund for Animal Welfare based on the information given. Now, everybody, let's go. You can write the International Fund for Animal Welfare or IFA is a very large charity in the world. It works to save animals and teaches communities how to look after and protect wildlife all over the world. It works in more than 40 countries. It started in 1969 in Canada. You can donate money to help this charity. The IFA is one of the largest wildlife charities in the world. Very good. Sau khi các bạn check đáp án với answer key, thì các bạn nên kiểm tra lại phần chính tả xem mình có viết thiếu hay viết sai từ nào hay không và mình hãy kiểm tra xem dấu câu nhé. You did a very great job. Very good. Now everybody, before saying goodbye, Miss Yung would like to invite you to play a game. In this game, you have to read a sentence in a very short time, and then you have to fill in the blanks. Đối với trò chơi này, chúng ta sẽ được đọc một câu trong một khoảng thời gian rất là ngắn, và sau đó chúng ta sẽ chọn đáp án chính xác nhất tương ứng với từ để điền vào chỗ trống nhé. Now let's get started. Read. Why should we plant trees? Because they change lives. Tree give fruit to people and animals. Tree give water, or trees give fruit to the people and animals. Is this? Food. We burn wood farm trees to keep warm in the winter. Trees help to keep our environment clean and green. So people burn wood or people burn leaves from trees to keep warm in the winter thì con người sẽ sẽ đốt đốt củi hay là đốt những chiếc lá từ những cái cây để mà sưởi ấm vào mùa đông à họ sẽ đốt những cái cây ha các bạn ha rồi trees for the future work with farmers and community groups to plant trees so trees for the future work with Doctors or work with farmers to plant trees. A cause is farmers. You can help too by donating money on the trees for the future website. Every dollar you can donate can buy a new tree. You can help trees for the future by money, by donating, or by collecting money on our website. <coughs> donating. Very good. Wow. Yes, congratulations. We have three stars for this activity. Very good. It's time to say goodbye. So in this lesson, you have just read, spoken, and written about a charity. 
Did you enjoy that? So thank you and goodbye. See you next lessons.